The results are in, we have them right here, 0W30. How is it doing in my 3.0 Duramax diesel? I do have the LZ0. Now let me give a quick little recap. I did test 0W20, that's on this oil analysis. I did test the 0W30 this go around, but prior to tests, I did this 5W30 by Pennzoil. Now those tests came back extremely good. And let me talk about this Pennzoil because there's a lot of confusion on this right now, so we'll do this real quick. It has the Dexos 2 certification on there, which means that it was approved for the older Duramax diesels like the 2.8 liter. Now, the current bottles seem to be lacking this Dexos label on there, but what I look for is, is it safe for emissions components, i.e. the diesel particulate filters, and on this one, it says it on the back. So if you're looking at a 5W30 engine oil by Pennzoil, it may no longer have that Dexos marking on there. I'm not saying go out and run 5W30 or 0W30, but this video is for the people that want to try a 30 weight oil instead of the 20 weight oil. Let's go ahead and get into the analysis that I just got back. Quick little recap for those of you that have not watched the prior videos, I definitely suggest that you do. That I go in pretty good detail all across there with the different analysis. Now this one is number six. This is going to be our 0W30 Mobile One ESP. A lot of people have been waiting for this. This 0W20 right here is on the sheet. This is Dexos D certified. So it is 100% safe to run the 0W20 and it came back with good results. That's this top line right here. That would be line number three. And that came back with some good results. However, we went ahead and did the 30 weight this go around. Now this is number six. If you're wondering what four and five are, well, that's super easy. That's the Pennzoil 5W30. And I had excellent results in there. Once I went from the 20 weight to the 30 weight, you can see my iron actually dropped to 26, 36. Now, those numbers come in right here. We're checking iron per 1,000 miles. So with the 0W20 engine oil, I actually got a reading of 10.9 ppm of iron per 1,000 miles. Now that's okay, that's a decent number, don't get me wrong. But when I went to the Pennzoil 5W30, it actually dropped to seven ppm per 1,000 miles. Now that's a good sign because that means less wear is going on inside the engine. The other thing is the viscosity is actually increased, which in my opinion, gives a better lubrication and protection on the engine itself. Now what we're focusing on here is this 0W30 ESP. It has no Dexos labeling on it at all. It is okay for emission systems. So we went ahead and did our first test. I also wanna point out two things here. One of which is I ran longer miles on this, so 6,214 miles on that. A lot of that was road trip, so that's why my miles were higher than typical. Um, we also show 44 iron, which at first you'd go, oh, that's a little bit high, that's a little scary, but that's why we do the iron per 1,000 miles, and we had a reading of seven per 1,000 miles. So this oil is actually looking really good. The viscosity of it is 11.2 at 100 C, and that matches up with the 5W30 of the Pennzoil, which I was very happy with. I actually thought I was gonna get some lower readings on this, but we're showing some really good results. The only one that popped up that was a little eh, is our aluminum went up to seven. Now, let me just throw this out there. I am running a second uh, run of this 0W30 in my truck right now, and we're adding up miles. And once that's completed, I'll do another test. And that's the one that we really wanna watch because we don't wanna watch just the first one. We wanna get the oil cycled through and all the prior remnants out of the previous oil. So this one may be a little bit skewed, but if you look at the other readings of the prior 5W30, we didn't really have too much of a skewed reading at all. So I'm not overly concerned with much here. However, I do wanna see if that aluminum goes up or goes down. That will indicate if there's a possible issue within the engine. It's a very robust engine that we're not dealing with aluminum on aluminum or anything like that. So this aluminum could be coming from bearing material, turbocharger, uh, different areas. But this number is still very low, but it is one that I'm going to keep an eye on because we went from threes to seven. So longer, longer period of oil, obviously, but this is the analysis right here. Hopefully this helps uh, clear up some confusion. I know a lot of you guys have really been asking about the 0W30, super great deal at Walmart. It's super cheap. This Penn's oil is a little bit more expensive, but this is definitely a very good oil. 
and the price of it is superb. So right now in my truck, my LZ0, it's a 2024 Silverado 1500. We are showing some great results on there. So I know a lot of people were waiting on that. Hopefully this is the results that you wanted to see. And look at that, my fuel dilution is also down. This go around where I'm currently testing for a future video, I am remote starting the truck in the morning and we're gonna see if that fuel dilution changes or how it affects it as well. So we're definitely gonna continue testing out this 0W30. After that test, I don't know what I'm gonna go with. So feel free to comment to let me know what you think I should go with, but here you go. There you guys have it, check it out. Number three is the 0W20 of Mobile One. Number four and five, that reading is all of the Pennzoil 5W30. And then this number six right here is our 0W30. Let me know what you think. Till next time, see ya.